Hello, welcome. So I had an idea for a video and basically I thought that I would just talk to you about my practice and experience making zines. I'm hoping that the word zines appeared right there. Zines. Um, so basically I'm just gonna show you some of the zines that I have made and talk about how I've made them. Um, and give you some tips and hopefully it inspires you a little bit. So a really quick disclaimer, um, this is the world of zines is just huge, like huge, like so huge that it's surprising. Um, it's It's been around for so long. Zines have been used in activism. Zines have been used in uh, community organization. Zines have been used in like every way and shape and form that you can think of. I've barely like scraped the surface myself. Uh, I will link a few places in the description where you can learn more about zines and their history and stuff um, and kind of the world of zines in general. But yeah, I'm by no means even remotely a shadow of an expert. <laughs> this is just what I personally have made and what I do with zines, but the world is kind of uh, limitless basically. So just keep that in mind as you watch. So to start, um, I thought I would show, this is one of the first collage art zines that I made, and this is actually an original. So I'll show you kind of, it's not a copy, so you can see it's shiny. Uh, so I can show you kind of how I put these together. Um, but this is basically just an eight and a half by 11 piece of copy paper folded in half like a book. Uh, and then I just collaged on the inside. So these I've just had like a lot of fun with kind of messing around. The way I am sort of in my current art journal, if you've watched those flip throughs, um, just kind of messing around and figuring it out. But there are also pages in here like this one uh, that I made outside of this and I just had it at this size and then I put it into the zine. Um, and then some of it I did actually physically in the zine like this one. But yeah, so this is just a really simple like eight page zine, uh, eight pages counting the front and back. Uh, and basically, as you can see, it's just a, literally a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And uh, there's a lot of ways to copy and produce zines for, you can obviously use your library, often has a copy, paper, copy uh, machine and stuff like that, or you can scan it in and print it yourself. Uh, for me, I don't have a printer at this time, <laughs> but um, so I, I take everything to a local print shop in my town and uh, uh, have them scan it in because they have really high quality and then they print everything for me just on regular copy paper and then I fold and staple myself. So uh, speaking of folding and stapling, I'll show you my Star Wars zine. Um, this is, I don't talk about Star Wars a ton on YouTube for like a million reasons which maybe you can think of but um there this is my star wars zine and i make about 250 copies every month um this is january february march april and may of this year 2021 uh, this is the one that i'm currently mailing out the may issue and again this is just made the same way as the one i just showed you so it's a eight and a half by eleven folded in half uh, i collage directly on it everything that i um put into my zines is made analog so even if like for example this is a podcast that made a digital page i print out a copy and then i tape it into the or into the final draft um so everything is analog with my zine i don't have like the skill set for digital stuff but that is like a whole nother world to explore um so yeah so this is the star wars zine uh and that's my uh, the thing that I do the most often and I can show you kind of like when it comes to me I have a copy here so when it comes to me like first out of the printer it's just a big stack of eight and a half by eleven paper like this and then I fold um, and I do use a bone folder when I fold which is a tool kind of like this and it just gives you like a really crisp crease when you fold um, I don't always use this but when I'm folding the zine every month uh, it can really, really hurt my finger if I don't use it. So I'll usually like go back and forth, but it does give a really nice fold and, and lets it lay flat. And, and then uh, a big tool that I think is great for zine makers to have is the long stapler. Uh, I'm not sure which brand this one is. It says business source on there, if you can see that. It's out of focus, but you can 
see what I mean? Um, but this is like an extra long stapler. So um, a, you can get really deep as opposed to like a regular stapler. You'd only be able to go, uh, you'd only be able to go up to like here. So it's like just not far enough. You probably would only be able to go like there. But with the deep stapler, you can go all the way to the center. And yeah, so that's how I staple my zines. I definitely recommend the long stapler because uh, zines can be any, you know, it can be any size you want. That's one of the best things about zines is that there's really no rules. Um, so yeah, that is my, the way I make zines basically. And I wanted to show, there it is. This is the first zine I ever made. And this is a just literally one sheet of paper uh, folded and cut and then you fold it again. So I'm actually gonna show you how to make this zine in a moment, um, but that's probably the most simple like pocket size zine you can make. Uh, this is how I started and yeah, it's really fun and you can you know do black and white and it's um, just one page to copy so it can be super affordable too. I'll also show you a few more of my collage art journal, uh, zines rather. So this is another smaller size that I do sometimes. It's basically a eight and a half by 11. I'll show you with another one. This is, so it's an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper again, cut in half. And then I fold the two sides and I make it into a zine. So usually these are also really simple, just about eight pages. Um, and yeah, so that's just a really fun little bonus if I ever feel kind of stuck, then sometimes I'll make one at this size. Uh, so that's another option of a size of zine you can make. Uh, here is another zine that I made last year at the end of the year. And this is a bunch of collage art that I made outside of the zine and then put into it. Uh, but I mixed this one with writing, which was really fun. It wasn't something that I've done very often, as you can see. But yeah, so this is a little bit longer. This was, uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is 12 pages as opposed to eight because it's three pieces of copy paper as opposed to two. So yeah, that is that. And then these are both um, eight page zines, but they are some of my favorite collage art that I've made because everything in these zines is from cigarette advertisements. Um, a lot of my collage materials currently comes from older magazines that I got for free at my local library. So it's kind of like whenever I make one of these, I set a challenge for myself to only use material from cigarette ads. And it's like so much fun. I'm actually working on a third one right now. Um, it's just like the most fun ever to give myself like those guidelines. I don't know. I just have such a good time with it. So that's another collage art scene that I've done. And yeah, these are all um, available to purchase if you're interested. I'll put all my links for my shops and stuff in the description. Uh, if you want to check out the zine, I can mail you one. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about this mini one page zine and I will show you how to make it. Sorry if the lighting gets a little weird, the sun is setting, but it should be okay. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of the way that you do it. It's really simple. This is a great thing to do with kids. It's like super fun. Um, and they can kind of get creative with it. And then if they like the result, they can copy and give it to their friends, which is really cool. Uh, so it's really simple. It's just folding and then you need scissors to cut one little part. So the first thing you do is you fold the eight and a half by 11 sheet like a hot dog. <laughs> so you fold like vertically like that. Then you fold this in half again. And we can use the bone folder on this. It'll just make it a little crisper. You don't have to use a folding tool. You can just use your hands, but sometimes it's nice to have that crisper fold. Then I fold each of the sides out to the end. So it'll make like four, four sections, you'll see. I flip it and fold this side out to the end. Come on, there we go. Perfect. So now we have this like four panel thing, right? Then I fold it out and I fold it halfways this way 
So it's kind of like that zine size book, you know? And then we're gonna cut this middle part from the end to the middle. You don't go past there. So it goes to right here. There's like a, a middle guideline that you can use. You go from here to here, all right? So let's do that. Let me stop right there. Okay, so you have these two like little flaps sort of, right? Then I usually like to just refold out like this into these like four sections. And then you'll see it's kind of like naturally doing that. You take, see the flap where the fold is, where the cut is rather. You take those two sides and you kind of just bend it inwards. It looks like, I feel like it looks more complicated than it is, but you literally just like where the, the flaps are, you just pick it up and you fold it along this middle line and that's it. That's your zine, literally. See that? It's pretty cool. So then the first thing I would do with this uh, to make sure before I put it together that I know which page is which is I would just number the pages. Sometimes you might not care if it's just like an artsy zine and they don't have to be in any order. You might not need to, but it's nice to number just so you know which page will be which because you can like glue stuff and do everything while it's still folded. But for me, I like to unfold it again and work on it when it's like this in the big, like completely unfolded. But so I'm here completely unfolded, but I know that this is the first page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? And then when you fold it back, there it is again, right? So I actually made one of these a little bit earlier and I'll show you. This is just like a really simple little collage. I literally just put one piece of magazine per page and then I just wrote like a little poem. And this is something that I would probably copy in color. The yellow paper might be a little weird when it's printed, but I don't know, it could be kind of cool. Uh, but this could also work in black and white. Uh, I just put my Instagram on the back and then it says, what if? And it says, what if you didn't have to change a thing to be worth it? What if who you are now is already perfect? What if every thought you have plants a new seed? What if what you have now is all that you need? And that's it. So if you see, when I put it together, I had it totally folded out like this. And then you pick it up, it folds easy, and that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, my, my crazy zine collection. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description if you want to pick anything up or if you look at my instagram you can see uh like more close-ups of stuff and then also um on my star wars instagram which i'll link below you can see all my star wars art in the star wars zine as well and yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed this little zine party and i hope you have a great day bye